Good evening, everybody. How is everyone? Um, we're in Cheyenne, and it's hailing. <laughs> well, a little bit of hail, but it's not bad. Got to cover my hood and stuff. So there's that. I just got up a little bit ago. Gotta, can't leave here until 9 o'clock. It's quarter to 7 now, so a couple hours. <sighs> Wife just came out. Bought me burritos. Who made burritos? And that's really hot, so I gotta let it cool down a bit. <laughs> Heated it up pretty hot. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll be leaving here for a couple hours. The storm, uh, supposed to be a blizzard coming in here tomorrow. We don't want to be here for that. Roman, I just talked to Roman, I guess he didn't, he got loaded this morning, but he didn't leave right away. He didn't leave, he didn't leave Boise until like 3 o'clock. I just talked to him, he was in American Falls. I know. I'm afraid he's going to get stuck in that blizzard in the morning. And hopefully that will, you know, hopefully he can get, get through tonight. Hopefully he can make it over to here before they close any road. You know they're going to. So, and he's got to hurry because this load delivers Sunday. Sunday morning. So, yeah, he's got to hurry. But we're still in good shape for Monday morning. In uh, Chelsea, Massachusetts. Got my new debit card. So I gotta get that activated. Do that here momentarily. <coughs> you know, I've been sitting here just truck stop all day. It's got a restaurant. The restaurant's open, doing normal business. I went in there and had had breakfast. When I went in, there was only like four or five people in there. So when I left, there was probably 10, 15 more. Maybe 20. I doubt, I doubt it was that many, but there were quite a few people in there. They're, they're doing regular business. She said they might not be doing it for very long, but right now, business as usual. Anyway, um, you know, you, sitting here watching people around here, you wouldn't know that there's a panic. Ain't nobody panicking, they're all doing their normal day-to-day -day stuff, getting gas, running all over town. Oh, we're about to have an accident, it's a parking lot, Jesus Christ, slow down, dude. West parking lot. This guy come hauling ass in off the road. This guy coming across the parking lot. They nearly met in the middle. Crazy. Anyway, I ain't too worried about it. 
I mean, I look, you know, looking at the, the, the stats so far, this thing's been going on since, what, in America, what, January? And I just I look at CNN, they're saying, uh, the case number in America just topped 8,500 people. The death toll just topped 140, period. 140 people in three months out of 8,500. 8, and everybody's in a panic like, like, like it's the other, the other way around. And that's why I'm not panicked. If it's only 140 people in three months. You know 105 people die every day in a car? And we're still driving our cars. That's every day. So, yeah, what's the... Everybody's in a panic. Why ain't we panicking over auto accidents? That's a much higher number. Happens every day. And that's a number we can stop immediately. <laughs> so, yeah, I ain't really worried about it. You know, yeah, I do my precautions like everybody else. But I, I ain't gonna worry, I ain't gonna stress. People's anxieties are going through the roof, thanks to media. Just like a friend of mine just said a little bit ago, he <laughs> said, uh, if it wasn't for Facebook and Twitter and all the social media stuff, there probably wouldn't be a panic. Because nobody would know. <laughs> of course, on the other hand, nobody would know. Therefore, the cases may grow faster. So there's that too. Because <laughs> nobody would know, nobody would be doing anything to, for any kind of precaution. And so it might be a lot, a lot worse if we didn't have it. But the thing is, is all the misinformation, all the blowing it up, hyping it up, making it seem like it's the end of the world. We don't need that. And I really think there's a lot of stuff that shouldn't be reported as far as what people are doing. Because it's causing more panic. You know, if somebody goes into the bank and takes all the money out, that gets on the news and everybody panics. Oh my God! The banks are going to fail. No, they're not. <laughs> and if they did, they're federally insured. So if you got money in the bank, it'll be it'll be there. It's insured. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And the FDIC is not going to run out of money. <laughs> so don't panic. Leave your money in the bank. Of course, the gold. Everybody's buying up the gold. Then after this is over, gold's going to be worthless because everybody's going to be trying to sell it. You know, what's that going to do to the economy? American dollars ain't going to be worth anything. <sighs> so yeah, get ready for that. Anyway, you guys have a fine day. Oh, oh, Vivian, I am sorry to hear about your, your, your man. Um, I guess he has a, uh, the coronavirus. Sorry to hear that. Uh, you guys stay safe uh, with your treatments and stuff. I don't know what all the treatments are. I didn't even heard about some, what treatments there are. So... Um, so yeah, I hope you guys uh, stay well. Thoughts and prayers to you guys. Um, anybody else out there who's got it? Uh, yeah, just we thank you back to we pray for you. Um, it's a bummer. 
So, you guys have a good night. I'll catch you with y'all in the morning. Hopefully by then I'll be in Iowa. <laughs> good night, guys. Love y'all.